A beautiful bunch of ripe bonyanya. Hey, turtle nerds, welcome. Well, oh, it smells like sh Hey, turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it smells nasty in here. And this is my room. I sleep, I sleep right over here. Um, and so basically in today's video, I want to show you guys how I take care of one, two, three, four, five. I guess five down there setups uh, with baby turtles in them and how I make sure to keep everything nice and clean and also what I should do when it smells nasty because it does today. So as you guys might know, I have this system here with baby turtles in every single little rack that I have. And I wanna show you guys how I make sure that everything stays nice and clean and what to do when it starts to smell not so great. So what I'm gonna do here first is figure out exactly what is causing uh, such a nasty smell. We're gonna start at the bottom rack right here. So this is where I kept some concentric, northern concentric baby diamondback terrapins. It's also where I kept the one that I was giving away. Just shipped them all out the day before yesterday and they all arrived safely. These are spotted turtles I'm referring to down here. So we're gonna give this a whiff. So even though I don't have a filter on this, it is not our culprit. Move up to the baby spotted turtles. Nope, they're pretty good. I have a filter in there, some aeration. And uh, you, you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. We're gonna, okay, we're getting a little fishy. It's a little fishy smelling in there. Nothing terrible, nothing I can't handle. Okay, I found our problem. That little guy's not gonna smell because he literally does not produce enough waste to smell. This, despite not having a filter on it, I change this water every three days or so, 100% of the water. Of course, now it's been about five days because there's nothing in it, so I haven't changed it. The little baby spotted turtles, they have their little filter there. I've been siphoning out about 80% of their water every five days now to clear up all of the sphagnum moss and decaying plants that have died in here so I can sort of redo this tank. Anyway, this doesn't smell. This smells a little bit because I feed these two little terrapins. These are two of Flipper's babies and I feed these little nuggets in their enclosure. So of course it's gonna get nasty fairly quickly and it'll smell. So again, I clean their water about every three or four days and I will take care of the filter and show you guys how I do this entire process. Now, this is where things get interesting. These are five uh, they are supposed to be hatchling diamondback, uh, ornate diamondback terrapins, but they're starting to become little juveniles because they're growing so insanely quickly. A special thank you to my buddy who gave them to me, Grant Eater. If you don't know, you should probably go subscribe to the Garden of Eater. He has not only these beautiful little turtles uh, every now and again, but he also has like freshwater shrimp and plants and some really nice stuff that he hooked me up with earlier this year. So definitely consider checking him out and get him to, I think he's almost at 2000 subscribers, something like that. Anyway, these little nuggets, <laughs> these little monsters, they are no longer eating. This hatchling food, is it's too small for them. It's no longer worth it. So they have upgraded to the Missouri aquatic turtle diet. Well, this is my own special mix of a couple different types of pellets, but mostly Missouri. And as you guys know, I've been feeding in the enclosure just because they eat more and then they grow quicker. And I'm not in a rush to grow them, but I mean, it's definitely, I don't know, it's interesting to see what they turn into a little sooner. So as I pop in a little bit of the pellets here, you're gonna see them go crazy for them. And look, they take them down, no problem. Check this out. These little nuggets, especially when those pellets start to soften up, it is training them to be able to crush, use their beaks, their crush plates, and check it out. They are taking down these monster pellets. So they're getting more nutrient per bite, I guess, rather than having to chase around a thousand little morsels, they get one big pellet. No, because I am feeding them these monster pellets and because they're eating so much, they are producing more waste. The uneaten food is way stinkier than the little hatchling pellets, and therefore it is starting to reek. So I wanna show you guys how I perform water changes on all of these systems, clean out the filters, and also, I mean, I guess we can get rid of that little tub in its entirety because there's no more baby turtles in it. And then in a little bit, I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna take care of these guys and what I'm gonna start to do differently rather than feeding them in the enclosure. I'm gonna grab my bucket right there and I'm just gonna begin siphoning the water. First thing I'm gonna do is pull that entire tub out and just dump it and then just put that into storage. Siphon out that, take out the filter. I can show you guys how I do that once I get to that process. But for now, we're just gonna be siphoning out, siphoning out water. I speak English, it's my eighth language. All right, but first, here's something kind of cool. I rigged every heater and every filter to one switch. So we just gotta 
Okay, I missed one filter, but everything basically is on that one switch. That way when I do water changes, all the heaters turn off and all the filters turn off. So that way when I drain the water, the heaters don't run dry and the filters don't run dry. It's raining and it's cold and it's raining. Okay, so now I have this totally drained and perhaps I'll put this little baby spotted turtle in there. We have this tank pretty much drained. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the filter, just the filter, not the, the pump part. There's two parts to these filters. So the part that has the cord is the pump. That's like the upper section, this lower section that holds all the garbage that it catches. I'm just gonna pull it apart and pull it out. Pull that bottom part out, that bottom part out put them in the bucket and take them and clean them and show you guys just how dirty they can get in a few days. All right guys, look, let me show you. Here's, oh boy, there's a lot of poop and waste that was sitting under this filter. But here's the filter, here's two parts of it. This is the pump part that we don't need. We want this bottom part that catches all of the garbage. This bottom part is what we want. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here with the spotted turtle tank. Oh yeah, this one, this one's gonna be pretty dirty. My hands are already a little nasty. Let's go to the garage, shall we? Okay, so now I have very poor lighting. However, we can see that I have those two things right there. I'm going to, you know, toss them in the sink, rinse them out. If you guys care about your nitrogen cycle and you have everything carefully balanced though, you're gonna wanna rinse them off with tank water and that's just in order to keep your bacteria alive because the chlorine from the tap water can potentially kill off some of your bacteria. But because I have what I like to call like a hyper sterile environment basically where I'm not going for a nitrogen balance, I'm just, you know, just making sure that, uh, well, that everything is staying nice and clean. We're not really trying to balance things. We're just kind of trying to, uh, look at how dirty this was. We're just kind of trying to keep everything super hyper clean. I like that for hatchlings just because it makes sure that everything stays nice and clean. And because I think that hatchlings, you know, shouldn't be exposed to any pathogens or any icky nasties like that at an early age. But once they start getting a little bit older, then we can probably go from a hyper sterile environment to one like in the pond where I'm sort of balancing the nitrogen and doing my tests and all that fun stuff. All right, guys, I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta clean this stuff. So now we're gonna go ahead and this just came apart. We're gonna go ahead now and return these filters to their rightful homes. So now there's our filter put back together. Here's another filter put back together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill up these two tanks because we're gonna do and talk about something interesting when we get up top. Okay, so now we're at the part. Sorry, I I am so excited. I'm really happy. I have, uh, remember that sick turtle that I was talking about? I didn't want to take you guys through that process because if she didn't make it, which it was looking like, I didn't want people to get attached and then upset. Uh, but anyway, I tell everybody on my Patreon like everything that's going on. So if you guys hit the link uh, and want to support me and the channel and get behind the scenes, like, like stuff like that, that I don't want to make public yet at the moment, just in case for whatever reason, any behind the scenes stuff I always say over there. I think that link is going to be right up over here. So please consider going over there because something, something just happened that is very, very, very exciting after weeks of just grinding out and, and trying to get this turtle better. Oh man, but anyway, uh, the, the turtles. Let's go back to cleaning, okay? Yeah. Normally this filter is in here and the filter in the spotted turtle tub is in here and I would take you know, these two filters and I would go clean them just like I did these two. But now I've upgraded them to a little bit of a larger filter. So what I'm doing now is because I can't feed these guys really in the enclosure anymore because they make a stinking mess. I'm gonna go ahead, siphon some water into this tub and feed them separately while doing a water change. Does that sound familiar? I used to do that when I had my baby terrapins in that tank uh, last winter and this spring. Let's, uh, let's watch these little guys eat and I'm just switching things up for this topmost tub because because they're getting so big and they're eating so much. Is that splashing on the walls? 
Okay, this filter's canceled. <laughs> Now guys, I really haven't gotten a good look at these fellas in a minute. Look at this one. Hold on, let's get better lighting. Look at this animal. She's pink. Literally the head is, uh, it's not showing up too well, but a fluorescent, like light pink. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. But I, I just wanna show you guys these, these terrapins individually. That one is like super pink. This one is a nice dark blue, super dark blue which I actually really like. And guys, like I was mentioning, I can't hold on to all of these terrapins. So if you guys are interested, when I have terrapins available, they are on my Patreon. You just hit the link in the top right hand corner. Look at this one. Okay, this one's not going anywhere though. This one I will definitely hold on to, but uh, there's five of them. I will probably keep, you know, two or three, hopefully three. Again, these are from my buddy Grant Eater. He was nice enough to give them to me. I made a nice trip down there. And actually one of his shrimp, one of the blue shrimp is still alive in the spotted turtle tank, a really beautiful giant female. But these guys are just doing so incredibly and all of his others, from what I understand, are thriving. So he has a beautiful pair of ornate terrapins that just, they're just a solid power couple. They produce nice, solid babies. As the dude at the beginning of SpongeBob once said, Are you ready kids? Because here we go. Oh, I forgot to change this fella's water. All right, whatever. I literally just dump it out and refill it. Everything kicks on with the flick of a switch. Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. We got our light going. We got our filter that's broken. <laughs> that is not working. And neither is this. <laughs> so sometimes I need to fiddle with them and get the air out of the filters. I'll be right back when everything's working. Listen how nice and quiet now this filter is. And so it's gonna, it's gonna rock. It's gonna kick butt in here. No longer need the air pump. Maybe I'll kick it on just for funsies, but uh, I wanna get some more plants in here. That filter's kicking. And I'm just gonna have to buy a new filter for up here. Plain and simple, guys. So that is it. That's how I do things. We got everything back and operational. I'm gonna take care of that little baby spotted turtle and clean her water last. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Later, taters.